Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Three out of four students in St. Mary's have passed their advanced placement tests according to St. Mary's officials. The Public School System's Assessment and Accountability Officer showed on Wednesday that students excelled in their AP test. And although students are being held praised for their performances, school board members and the superintendent noted that the results do not mirror state standardized test scores. Longtime Leonardtown resident Major Timothy Gowan has been selected by Maryland Governor Leah Hogan to lead Maryland's National Guard as its 30th adjunct general. Gowan brings a long history of military and civil service to its position that puts him in command of over 7,000 combined staff, including National Guard soldiers and civil service members across Maryland's four military branches. Gowan's officially assumed his role on September 14th. California, Maryland local Christi Christina Allen has started her own chapter of Cycling Without Age. Allen was inspired by a program in Denmark where cyclists would pilot mostly senior citizens in carts in front of their bikes around to promote healthy living and getting away from sedentary lifestyles common to seniors. While Allen is 60 years old, she is still quite active and hopes to expand the program to other cyclists so that others can get inactive people where they need to go while staying active. The sewage smell on Pine Hill Run Road will likely continue as the warm weather drags through September. The main sewer line that runs to the Marley Taylor Wastewater Reclamation Facility will be replaced soon as the crew is working on it. Leonardtown High School girls soccer team recently had a match with the North Point High School's girls soccer team. In the first half of the game, Leonardtown was putting pressure onto the North Point's defense. However, halfway through the match, North shot the leading goal with a 1-0 in the first half. However, after a break, Leonardtown came back stronger, tying the score 1-1. The North Point struck back with another goal towards Leonardtown, leaving the total score 2-1, pointing towards North Point's victory. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Luke Osenball. And I'm Dylan Casani Birch. Signing off.